without sea of at all. First of all, I will not tell you not to buy a land without sea of all because it's usually a function of your income. A lot of land with sea of all, you can't afford it. Jeff Godfrey from Aquaibon, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Members, you're joining your name and the city you're joining me from. So most of the land um, with sea of all, you may not be able to afford them. And that's just the truth. Let me from Lagos, I see you. So since you can't afford the land with sea of all, uh, you're not going to say you're not investing in buying land. Joshua from Wari, I see you. You can't say that because remember I told you, go and buy land somewhere and buy it quickly. Okay, title or no title, just go buy land somewhere. And I mean it because you, you will really regret it, you know, later years if you don't. Most of the houses in Lekki today, Lekki Phase 1, Lekki Phase 2, when they were buying it, there was no sea of hope. There was no nothing on those lands. But they bought the land first, right? And then later bothered about how to get the titles of those land. So all those lands that you see today that you might admire, they never, justice from Asaban, thank you for joining. They never had title when those lands started. There was no title on them. Okay? So... When you make up your mind and say, I'm not going to buy any land without sea of all, you're shooting yourself in the leg. Because some of the best land you are going to see do not even have sea of all. Okay? Um, Cameroonian in Dubai. Good to see you. Fred from London. Told you from UK. Thank you all of you for joining. As you're joining, tell me your name and your city and share this video 10 times on Facebook, WhatsApp. Click on the Facebook party icon. Remember, we're talking about how to buy land without sea of all. How do you do that? So first of all, faces men are in sizes, leave your size part time. Even GTEx as a company, our first estate did not have sea of all. Our first estate. Today now, we have several estates with sea of all and Gazette. Wilson from Italy, I see you. Okay, we now have several estates. There are sea of all, there are Gazette, there are all this title. But when we started, we couldn't afford um, property with any form of title. We couldn't. But if we, we said we're not going to buy any property until we find the one with Gazette or the one with see of we will never own estates today. We will never own estates today. Life is in faces, men are in sizes. Can everybody help me type it? Come on. Remember, I love energy. I love you to engage me. Richard from Czech Republic, don't let that stop you from buying land. What is important is that you have a land in your name, okay? It's very, very critical. So today I will be teaching you five major things, okay, to do when you are buying a land that does not have CFO or does not have Gazette. There are a couple of things you need to do um, because why people get uh, to get angry at the end of the day or have problems on such lines with government is because they are not conscious of these five things. And please know that the five things I'm going to be teaching you today are not things you can do in one day. You can't do them immediately. It will take time before you are able to do them. It may take you a process of five years to do what I'm teaching you, um, you know, but it takes time. Thank you so much. Honorable. Thank you, your honorable man. Justice, I've been following you for a long time. You're indeed a great person, um, and you're giving great secrets. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Remember, as you're joining us, tell us your name, your city. Share this video 10 times on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on LinkedIn. We're liberating people and helping people learn how to build wealth legitimately. Okay, so please and please share this video um, at least okay at least 10 times um, so number one understand the various types of land without CFO so even lands that don't have CFO there are different types and I'm gonna break them down for you I'm not if you are ready if you are ready type I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready so I'm gonna break down the various lands that do not have CFO for you they are different okay so if you are ready type I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready come on engage me i feed off your energy i love engaging you i love your energy and i need you to chat me up if you're ready type i'm ready so number one 
is a land under government acquisition a land under government acquisition now under government acquisition there are two major type of land the first one is a committed land now usually and even the committed one there are two there's a committed land for road for hospital for public use such land i really do not advise you to get it because it's a very long shot that you can ever get that land there's also a committed land but not under public use it's probably the governor that have shared it to his cronies to his family members and just want to take that land such land you can fight it you can even fight it in court and still get that land right because the law that empowers a governor to put global acquisition on a land stated that it has to be for public use so if the governor decides to put global acquisition on a land and is committed but that commit commitment is not towards a public use like it's not as if they are trying to do bridge it's not as if they are trying to do road it's not as if they are trying to build hospital it's not as if they are trying to do something that will change the life of the masses that's the kind of land you can afford right all you need to do is to know that if government shows up to try to do something you should be ready to take the government to court right and argue and by the way cases have been won several times on what i'm telling you right where it was proven in courts that what the government wanted to use it for was not public use and as such they had no right to try to take over that property and they won in court they actually won right how many of you are enjoying this topic if you're enjoying it type i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it again come on guys engage me my name is steven i can tell i'm africa's most sought after investment coach i'm a serial entrepreneur and i'm teaching you how to buy land without sea of war like i said i'm telling you the reason why many of us find ourselves buying such land is that we don't have uh, we can't afford the land that has sea of war many of the land we see of war particularly in lagos are more expensive than many of us can afford you see a land going for 50 million 100 million 200 million 300 million how can you afford such land so many times the other land you then find are the ones that are cheaper however they may not have sea of war they may not have gazettes uh, and so how do you then still go ahead to acquire such land uh everybody's enjoying this class i'm happy to know donald um, is enjoying it i'm sad is enjoying it everybody's enjoying it remember as you're joining us tell us your name the city you're joining us from share this video 10 times on facebook or whatsapp or linkedin and if you have shared this video 10 times let me know just type 10 times okay you click on that facebook party icon invite all your friends if you have done that let me know i want to thank you for doing that okay so number one know the various types of land that doesn't have sea of hope the first one is a land under government acquisition the land by land under acquisition there are two types there's a committed one now under committed one there's two types there's the committed for public use don't go near that one okay because it's going to be tough for you to convince government to give you a land that they have proposed to build an hospital wow Akili, thank you for sharing the video 10 times god will honor you so it's going to be tough for you to convince a government to give you a land that they've planned to do road a land they've planned to build hospital a land they've planned to do something that will add value to uh, public works and things like that there's no way you can convince government to give you such land but there are some land that is committed but they won't tell you the reason why it's committed such land you can buy trust me you just need to take the government to court baba today miriam thank you for sharing 10 times god will honor you right you just need to take them to court if they want to disturb you because the law that empowers the government to be able to take a land from the families says that it has to be for public use so if they are taking a land and it's not for public use they want to give their families they want to give it to their loved ones and that land is not for public use it's not adding value to anybody no trust me you can argue that right 
Uh, Godfrey, thank you for sharing 10 times. God will honor you. Right? So you can argue that. So that's one type of land. Now, note, such land are cheap. They are very cheap. So don't let anybody sell a land that is under, uh, that is committed or not for public use at an exorbitant price to you. Don't let them do that. Don't let them do that. The only reason they can do that is if they are an estate and they are going to follow through the process of eventually getting um, the document for the land, okay, no matter how long it takes. Innocent, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Uh, Benjamin, thank you for sharing 10 times. Benjamin Innocent, I've both shared 10 times. Wow, Njoku has shared 10 times. I appreciate all of you. Can you imagine? We're over 500 viewers because you guys keep sharing 10 times. The Lord will honor you and thank you. I'm grateful. God bless you. Real good. So, um, so that's the land, you know, a land under acquisition. The second type of land is that is not doesn't still have COVO. Is a land whose uh, accession is in process. You know, accession in process. Um, so there are two types under these two. Julius, thank you for sharing 10 times. God will honor you. Now, there is the one that we call it village, um, you know, accession in process. What does that mean? Basically, that means that the family who originally owned the land are having talks with government to excise a portion of the land um, through maybe their representative, through their loved ones, we have a land like that. We bought it from the family is in talk, interior. Thank you for sharing 10 times. God will honor you. So the family is in talk, you know, they, they, they are trying to do their best to put pressure on government to give them a portion of that land back. And so um, there's also now the one where it's not the family that is processing the decision. It's probably the person selling it to you that is trying to process uh, the decision. Okay? Those are the other types. They are more expensive than the one that is committed. Okay? They're a little bit more expensive because one way or the other, they've started the process of filing for a decision and they, they may stand a good chance of getting the decision. So, because of that, um, you know, they, they, they may want to sell it a little bit higher a little bit higher than the one that is just totally committed okay they may want to sell it a little bit higher and it's very important um so because some of them will even tell you that they've charged factor in the cost of getting the decision into the amount they are charging you so as a result they can't sell it for you too cheap right so those lands are also another type of land um, that you have to be conscious of. Then you then have the what we call the free lease land. The free lease land is a land that does not have COO, but is not under any form of incumbrance. There's no um, there's no global acquisition placed on the land. Now this is one of the best land to actually buy because this land you can personally process the COO on your own and it's very easy to get the COO, very very easy for you to acquire a COO on a land that is free, okay free lease land um, no form of a acquisition on it it's very easy to get your own uh, uh, processes out of it now, there are a couple of process the land then needs to go to if you have gotten this type of land, so if you have gotten a land that is free from any form of incubrance, free from any form of acquisition, there are a couple of processes. Again, how many of you are enjoying this class? Let me know whether you're enjoying it or it's too complex. You're struggling to even understand what I'm teaching. If you're enjoying this type, I'm enjoying this. You know, there's a reason I'm a doctor, okay? <laughs> Some call me the professor of real estate. I have a doctorate degree in real estate, actually, an honorary doctorate degree in real estate. So, my brain is smoke. So, guys, if you're enjoying it, tap, I'm enjoying it. I want to be sure that I'm not talking too fast and, um, and that you guys can comprehend and I'm moving at your pace and that you're enjoying this. Joshua, thank you for sharing uh, uh, 10 times. God, we honor you for doing that. I appreciate it. 
uh, Eddie Love says it's too complex. It's not too complex. Just understand. It's very simple. So I'll repeat it again. Land on that that is there's different type of land that does not have COO. There's the land under government acquisition. Okay, the land under acquisition. Under the land that has acquisition, there are two types. There's committed for public use. Okay, there's non-committed. I mean, there's committed for non-public use. Anyone that is committed for public use, do not buy. Such that the commitment is for, for road, for for hospital, for things like that. Don't buy it. No matter what they tell you, just don't buy it. There is now the land that is committed, but it's not for public use. There's nothing public. It's committed for, for you know, nothing public. You know, don't buy. It's such, it's important that you can buy. Sometimes you see committed for industries. You see committed for, for residential, right? Of course, buy it. Because are you not trying to build residence there too? Okay, committed for industrial, buy it. Because even in industrial zones, the, a portion of industrial zone has to still be for accommodation for those who, who are working in that industrial location. So, uh, even if it's committed, you want to know whether it's committed for public use or just general commitment that is non-public use. So, if it is such that the commitment is not public use, buy it. Whether it's committed for industries, for residential, whatever buy it what it just means is that you still have to pay government some money when you want to perfect the title and guess what even the process of acquiring c of o still means you will pay money to you know um to to get the c of o for you to get a c of o you have to pay money by the way so that's just normal number two type is a land that is not committed in other words it's free land free lease land right freehold there's no form of commitment there's no global acquisition on that land such land is good to buy also if it's the perfect one to buy because there's no incumbrance whatsoever on the land and um, you can buy yourself without even engaging any professional process your own c of o on that land in your name and why this land is even good is that you buy it cheap you also be able to process the C of O in your name. You know, most land that already have C of O before you buy it, the C of O is in the name of those that got the C of O, not in your name. But this kind of land that already is free from government acquisition, it's called free lease land, freehold land. Such land is even better because now you can process the C of O and it comes in your own personal name. It comes in your own name. So you can, so it's even beautiful. You buy it cheaper, you be able to personally process your CFO by yourself. Um, you know, so it's and let me tell you this: processing your CFO, even though it can take a long time, is cheaper than buying a land that already has CFO. A land that already has CFO. Let me give you an example. I can buy a land that a free lease land for let's say three million, four million, maybe because the location is very good. In places the location is not good, I can buy for one million, I can buy for two million, even if it's an estate, right? So, now look at this. The, what I, it will cost me to process my C of O, maybe another three million. Three million in Lagos now. In some states, it's cheaper. In local state, it's way, way cheaper. Probably 500,000 or less. Uh, or a little bit more than 500,000. If you consider all the other money people will take, I mean, those who are, the lawyers helping you or whoever is helping you, so when you look at you add two million to three million you add three million to three million that's six million compared to most likely when the land already has C C of O, they are charging you 10 million they're charging you 15 million they're charging you 20 million they're charging you some five million because they have already perfected that title right so they are charging you a lot higher so it's even better i buy the land it doesn't have C of O, right I buy it cheap, I can then process my C of O myself at a more reasonable price. And government is most likely to give you your C of O when it's one plot, two plots, one acre. 
what is difficult and most people don't know it that most of us who do real estate we buy in bulk 50 acres 100 acres 200 acres it's difficult for government to just give us c of o on one 200 acre 100 acre like that they don't i mean they will they they, they hardly do it they hardly do it and say give me my own one c of Give me on two plots on one acre on it's very easy to do you know we can always recommend lawyers to if for those buying such land from our estate we can always recommend our lawyers to you and they can help you process your seal right so it's even cheaper at the end of the day than the ready-made because what we are trying to address here is the concerns of people saying that land is very expensive in lagos yes the more the perfect document, the more the land will be expensive because the land already has good title. So, so the person who got that title, he knows what he went through. He's going to charge you a lot higher. So why not have? Okay? And, and again, how many of you are getting value from this training? If you're getting value, type, I'm getting value, I'm getting value, I'm getting value. Come on, guys, talk to me. If you're getting value, type, I'm getting value, I'm getting value. So... Now that you know all the type of lands that don't have C of O and which ones you buy and which one not to buy, let's go to number two. If you're ready for number two, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on, guys. I need you to engage me. I need your energy. If you're ready for number two, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Number two, good. Everybody's ready. Oh, beautiful. Prince is getting value. I'm happy to know. Come on, guys. If you're ready, type, I'm ready, I'm ready. Number two. Make sure you pay for the document after you have bought the land. So whether you bought the land that is freehold or you buy a land under that decision is in process or you buy the land that they've not even started the decision but is of course committed but um, not for public use commitment, right? Those are the lands I told you can still buy. Once you've bought it, the first thing you need to do is make sure you get ownership document. You pay for it. Because usually, when you buy land, the cost of land is different from the cost of ownership document. Now, there are two ownership documents that are very important. Number one is called deed of assignment. Can everybody type deed of assignment? Everybody, come on, talk to me. Can you type deed of assignment? deed of assignment that's number one everybody type deed of assignment deed of assignment that's the number now this document is the official legal document that transfer ownership from seller okay to buyer deed of assignment is the official document contract of sale doesn't transfer ownership deed of assignment is a document that transfer ownership from the seller to the buyer you must get this document after you have finished paying for the land nobody will give you a deed of assignment until you have finished paying for land so make sure you finish paying for the land then you pay for your deed of assignment right it's usually prepared by the lawyer of the seller okay and usually the lawyer of the seller may charge between 10 to 15 percent of the money you paid for the land to prepare your deed that's how it's done it will charge okay 10 to what to 15 percent of the money you pay for the land too some may charge lesser if you negotiate okay but that's how it's done the second type document that you must get i call it the ownership document because these are documents that you use to prove that you own that land whether it has document whether it has c of o or not c of o you need that document number two you need that document because that's the document okay that ultimately uh um help you can use to process your c of o you know so if you don't have such document you can't process your c of o right or gazette or whatever you want to try and pro 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 uh, process you must have this document for you to process it a deed of assignment from the person who sold it to you number two document is a survey can everybody type survey survey come on everybody type survey a survey is 
uh, and this is very important, a survey is actually the map and the size of the land that you bought. A, a survey, can everybody type survey? Okay, a survey is the map and the size of the land that you're buying. Let me tell you, this is how people scam a lot of Nigerians. C of O does not transfer ownership of land to you. That you bought a land when it has C of O does not transfer that land to you. They've scammed so many people in this area. They will carry and show you C of O like this. Because you saw that the land has C of O, you didn't ask. All they give you is receipt and you say you have land. No survey, no deed of assignment. You are deceiving yourself. You are deceiving. And this is how people have been scammed severally. Because C of O has been overrated, has been overhyped. Whether your land has C of O or not, do you know you can start building on your land? Nobody will stop you from building your house. The house, the only house my mother built before she died, didn't have C of O, was when she died that uh, Governor Musu decided to do discount on C of O in Ogo State. It was in Songo, and we were able to process the C of O for the land. And she got the C of O. But she had the survey of that land, and she had the deed of that land. In fact, some people wanted to take that land away. But when we showed them the survey and the deed, right, many people in that area eventually paid again for that land. And you know why? They never had C of O and deed and survey. They ne sorry, they never had survey and deed, not C of O. They never have survey and deed of assignment. So they, when the Omonile came back again, they asked everybody to pay again. In our own case, we didn't pay again because we had done so survey and we've done the document, the, the deed of assignment and the survey. So very important. Deed of assignment and survey are the two documents that prove that you own the land. Whether the land now has say of or not, it doesn't matter. You have to first prove that you own the land from the original people who were selling it. And it is a C of O and a so, uh, sorry, I keep mentioning C of O. It's a deed of assignment and a survey. Deed of assignment and a survey that prove that this land belongs to you. Let me repeat it again. Deed of assignment and a survey is what proves that you originally are the owner of this land. Now, a survey is also the cost of that goes to the surveyor. The surveyor will charge you for that. Now, why is this thing important? After you've gotten your, the survey usually is a provincial survey. Now, once you've gotten your survey, you've gotten your deed of assignment, the next step follows, right? So again, for those of you just joining us, again, if you are getting value type, I'm getting value, I'm getting value. For those of you just joining us, my name is Stephen Akintayo. I'm Africa's most sought after investment coach and a serial entrepreneur. And I'm teaching you on how to buy a land that does not have COO. And the process I'm teaching is basically how you can get such land and the process to eventually own it and even probably possess the COO in your name. Okay, and this are uh, what we're talking about. Yes, that's what we're saying. Inherited land is inherited by your forefathers. You just, you just have to prove that it was inherited by your forefathers. Okay, you can prove that. Your lawyer can prove that, you know trace the history but your lawyers should still find a way to prepare some title some deed that shows the history of your land and why is your land and how it was your land okay very important very very important okay so uh, as steven says i'm getting crazy value good to know that all of you are getting value so if you are ready for number four now that you have gotten the ownership title now this land is your own now there is proof that it's your own through your deed and your survey. The next thing you now want to do is to go and register your survey. Go and register that survey that you have. Go and register it. You know, you can go to Alausa, you know, um, land, Ministry of Lands or Survey General uh, Office in the case of Lagos and register that survey that they gave you. What does that mean? It then means that that survey will not be in the government record that this size of land, it, the surveyor general's record, it will be there that it belongs to you. Okay? Uh, when you now go and register it, please, you may still tell the person you bought the land for from to register it for you. That's okay. You can still say that. You can tell the person you bought the land from to still be the one to 
um, go ahead and do the register survey. That's possible. You can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? You can do that absolutely. Where the same person who, uh, um, you know, same person who sold the land to you can then go and help you register it with Sovia General. But that's a different fee and different process for you to register it. Okay? Once you've done that, okay, the next step is then to um, then apply for a CFO if the land is a free lease land. But even if it's not a free lease land, once you've just at least registered the survey, it just at least gives you some good level of some level of ownership, right? and it goes a long, long way. So try and start perfecting your title after you have gotten. So, but what many people make mistake is that they've not even gotten ownership title. They now want to start government perfection. It won't work. You first need to get title that proves that you are the owner of the land before you can go to government and say, ah, government perfect the title for me. So number three is then that you want to now get a lawyer after you have gotten the ownership document, get a lawyer to help you apply for the COO with government or even apply for a session, right? You know, you can try it out. You know, they will ask you to all perfect the title with government. Lawyers can give you all the various options that you can take. Just the unfortunate thing is just that most Nigerian lawyers are lazy and most Nigerian lawyers do not even there's so many processes. Even when a land has a seizure, you can still, you know, get stamp duty and start processing your In fact, you get stamp duty and you can start building and you get building permit, a provincial building permit and start building. In future you just do ratification. You know, there's so much to this business that most people don't know and most lawyers don't know and unfortunately um, you know um, it's just most people just don't know so number four again if you are getting value type I'm getting value I'm getting value number four take possession of your land now that you have the ownership title and you have started processing the C of O this can take another five years but some governors don't do anything government it can take years so don't take pressure on that one okay anything government take yes so so don't think it will be overnight once you want to perfect a land title don't rush that process it takes time take it easy but while you are perfection of your land and this is very very important even if the land is inside the swamp even if the land is inside water go and do corner piece inside the water get the surveyor pay him let him do corner piece inside that water do something to show that it's yours okay take some form of possession of your land it's important some people will fence it around some you don't have money for fencing you know so they will just do major corner piece some will even do it almost like a small fence you know uh, you know like a small fence but just do something to take some form of possession of your land number five create residual income on the land create some form of residual income on the land so over time people will start building around that area you to build build four units of two bedroom flats in your one plot, rent it out even if it's uh, uh, 250,000 every year they are paying you, it's still something it's a residual income okay, you can do a small farm on the land just do something that brings in small small money right, on your land that's number five do something that can create residual income okay do something that can create residual income on your land. Don't just, I mean, do something. You can buy cows and, you know, and start um, breeding cow on the land, you know, farming on the land, build some school on the land, build some house and rent it out on the land. Um, you know, just find a way to start making that land 
um, create some money for you, bring in something for you. Uh, you're able to earn something no matter how little. You know, just do something that can help you to start earning something on your land. Again, if you got value, type I got value, I got value, I got value. Everybody, talk to me. If you got value, type I got value, I got value. Now, if you joined us late, you can go watch this video all over again. You can go watch this video all over again on on uh, YouTube at Stephen Akdal TV. This video is on YouTube. My YouTube channel has over 1,000 videos, life-changing videos, addressing different topics, life-changing videos. Um, and I want you to go there, right, at Stephen Akdal TV. Go and sign up on my YouTube channel. Just, uh, it's free. Just go there. There's so much lesson. Stop being afraid of buying land. Just get information. You see, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is wealth. If you don't get it, you just will keep playing victim. Meanwhile, there's no problem. Just keep playing victim. Um, if you have questions now, go ahead and ask. Questions, go ahead and ask me. Oh, welcome, Gabriel. Good to see that you got value. I'm happy to know that, that you got so much value. How many of you, you know, after teaching you this much, would like to buy property through me? <laughs> if you like to buy property through me, type one. Come on, guys, talk to me. How many of you like to buy property through me? If you like to buy property through me, type one. I've been getting so many DM. I want to buy property through you. I want to buy property through you. I want to buy property through you. Okay, if you want to buy property through me, can you type one, 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 one? Click on one, one, one. Okay. Um, irrevocable power of attorney. That's called governor's consent. So when you buy a land, that only works if the land already has a C of O or a gazette. When a land already has a C of O and a gazette, and the C of O or the gazette was not in your name, so what you do so that there can be a title in your name, you register and then what we call a governor's consent. Again, that also takes time and you need to pay money for that also to government. Okay, so that's what they call irrevocable C of O. It's the same thing as governor's consent. So you go register your... When you register the deed of assignment, the seller gave you. When you register it with the governor of the state, whereby the governor is saying, I'm now a witness to the fact that this land has moved for the origin or from the original person we gave governor's consent... Um, um, we gave gazette to... It has moved from the original person we gave Gazette to, to you, right? When the governor has, um, you know, the process of the governor attesting to the deed of assignment that that seller gave you, it's called governor's consent, and it's called irrevocable uh, deed of assignment. Because now, the governor, that the law, 1978 law, says the governor of a state is the owner of the land. So when the governor himself signs and say, I'm aware, that Mrs. Adeyinka is this land. Of course, that's irrevocable because the overall power on land has now said, I'm aware that this is the new owner of this land. So that's what we call governor's consent. You do that with the government, but that's only on if the land already has a global C of O or the land has a C of O or the land has a gazette. Okay, when the land has a gazette, you then go and register the survey after you register the survey, you then apply for a governor's consent on that land. Okay, good. Um, I want to do something today. How many of you have up to 10 million naira and above to invest in landed properties? Okay, you can type 10 million. If you have 5 million and above, you can type 5 million. If you have 2.5 million and above, you can type 2.5. I'm going to be picking two, two people under each of, I mean, 10, 10 people under each of this category. And I'll be educating you on some of the lands that we have. I'll be educating you on how you can get those land from us. We are, I'm the MDC of GTEC Homes. 
We are a leading real estate company in Nigeria. We have property in Lagos, Abuja, Ogun State, and we're expanding. We're building 200 estates between now and the year 2035, and we're the largest uh, green and smart home company, um, and that's our vision, to build green and smart homes. Okay, so um, you can chat me on WhatsApp chat only. No calls, please, no calls, just WhatsApp chat only. I'm very busy, I run a busy itinerary. Okay, and please, this is my private line. This is not a company line. If you want to talk to my company, you can reach them. Just Google GTEx Homes. You see, um, we run 247 CRM. 247. 12 a.m., you call somebody in our office, they will attend to you. But this is my private line, so please give me some courtesy. When you come in, tell me your name and your city, and tell me your budget, and I will do what I can do to educate you. So please... It's important that you know I'm not the CRM of my company. I'm not the customer service. Okay? Uh -huh. I'm just trying to see how I can guide some of you. I haven't trained you. But if you want to talk to my office direct, you can reach them on 234 81 Okay? That's the number of GTEx homes. You can visit info at gtexhomes.com. That's the company I'm the MDC of. Okay? You can also uh, visit the website www.gtexhomes.com. Okay? But for the 10 people chatting me up across all the categories I'm giving you, please be aware that you are chatting me up privately. It's not the company you are chatting up now. And so you should be courteous in your approach, right? And I'm only going to take time to 10 people because I, I run a very busy itinerary. 10 people. The number to reach me is plus one, six four six four two seven three three one seven. Okay? Plus one, six four six four two seven three three one seven. Good morning. Okay. How are you? God bless you. Well done. Plus one, six four six four two seven three three one seven. Again, plus one, six four six four two seven three three. One seven. I've pinned the number. Um, I've pinned the number. For those of you who want to sell land, where we don't buy small land, we we do minimum twenty acres. So this is not the place to start marketing your land. Okay. So plus one six four. Oh, so welcome to G Tech Homes. You can see quite a lot of people here. So, this is not the place to start marketing your land. Okay, so plus one, six four. Oh, so, welcome to G Tech Homes. You can see quite a lot of people here. Uh, Some are full time, some are part time. Yeah, GTEx homes. So um, you can always reach out to GTEx homes any day, any time for properties. But like I said, I'm going to mentor 10 people who have 2.5 million and above. 10 people who have 5 million and above. So um, again, plus one six four six four two seven three three one seven. Plus one six four six four two seven three three one seven. Plus one plus one. What am I saying? Plus one six four six four two seven three three one seven. I've pinned um, the details. I've pinned the details because of time. Uh, um, I will not be able to go into advertising our own estates. Because there's just no time to do that. 
Um, but you can go on our website, you see all our various estates. When you go to our website, you see all our estates. But th those 10 people who are reaching out to me, I will give you details of some of our own estates um, within your budget. Because like I've taught you guys many times, the problem is not that they are scamming you, the product afford the type of land you want. So all this, my land must have C of O. So, you know, it's always a function of money. Once the land has C of O, the price will be higher. And, um, you, you know, it's just reality here. So, um, and, the, and, and it's better to buy land without C of O than not buying a land at all. I've shared this several times. It's better to buy a land without C of O than not having a land at all. You need to be a landlord. You need to own a land. You need to buy a land somewhere and buy quickly if you are really serious about changing your financial destiny. I love you all, and uh, feel free to reach me again, like I said, plus one six four six four two seven three three one seven. 647 uh, For those of you who came late, watch this video again. It's going to change your life forever. I love you. Bye-bye.